Now it's time for the entertainment news. And first up, we tell you about this whole Inka Efele drama. Yeah, a little bit of drama. Inka Efele welcomes set of triplets. Nigerian gospel artist Inka Efele has confirmed the arrival of a set of triplets with his wife, Temi Tokbe. Now, according to sources, she welcomed the babies, that's two boys and a girl, in Maryland, USA. Now, the music star took to his Instagram page to share a video of himself and his new bundle of joy with the caption, Favored. Let's check this out. More to come. But then, this latest development is coming a few weeks after he had denied the reports that his wife had given birth to a set of twins. Yin Kaifele got married in 2000, three years after he was involved in a car crash where he sustained a spinal cord injury. Now, why I say it's a drama or mini drama is the fact that you came out at first to deny it, saying that your brother had. That, that was from like, seven years it was, ago. It was from seven years ago. Shower. And it's exactly the yeah. same picture that you now post on your Instagram, putting them together in a the, video. Like, the news, bro. Yeah. I was very confused I about that. I agree as well. with him. The news yeah. that went by was Yinka Ifele welcome set of twins. So See, he, because he it was true. Set of always triplets. say that. Most <laughs> of these things, there's always an iota of truth. Okay. The case is, oh, okay, I didn't welcome set of twins, though. Ah, they're actually triplets, mm -hmm, oh, that mm -hmm. I welcome. It's okay, it's fair enough. But don't come and say, oh, um, I. This is even a picture from seven years ago, but it's still in this video, by the way. I wanted you guys so to hear from him. So the reason why I can think he would do something like that, maybe he was trying to keep it very private, right, yeah. and you know, they're just newborns. Maybe he wanted to give it some time. But like you, I, I, find it quite, at all. I find it quite weird that he actually denied and then now coming out with the truth. It's, it's very weird. At least now you're hearing like, it from him. Don't hear from Regardless, other sources. Let me give you the story. Let me give you the full details. The children were born in America. They are triplets, not twins. Well, yes. <laughs> all in right. such situations, so you taking not come the out to say anything then. at all. Yeah, it's, you, have you taken the correction? Yes, we have. Congratulations to him, definitely, though, right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Big deal. Congratulations to you. Now, moving on to more news. Timmy Dakolo cries out. Now, over the weekend, Nigerian singer Timmy Dakolo raised alarm about strange men with guns at his house. Now, he later shared an update on his social media page that the men were police officers who came to deliver a letter of invitation for questioning to him and his wife. Now, Busola was questioned over the rape allegations she leveled against Koza Pastor Biodun and according to a statement by the singer, he said, and I quote, sending a busload of armed policemen and shady men lying in wait to intimidate my wife and children today, forcing their way into my home. Is this how the real police deliver a letter? Is this the best you can do? This is why all the hurting women and families haven't come against you. Now, Timmy went on to state that he vows to fight for his wife and his children, saying, and I quote, I will fight for my wife and my children is the promise I made with my life and one I intend to keep. I will, I will defend them from the unrelenting attack of a weak man who thinks he can use money and power to cover for all of his crimes. <sighs> As in really... Okay, well, still on the Timmy Dakolo. IRS. Speaking mm. at the press conference, Timmy revealed Bosola, who is currently seeing a psychologist, told him about the rape incident last year, and it was saddened that such a thing could have happened to her in church, and encouraged her to tell her story to the world, no matter the repercussions. The singer went on to raise concerns on the manner in which the letter of the summon was delivered to him and his wife, and he, he maintained that what happened at his house yesterday was nothing but intimidation. TVC was on ground at the press conference, so let's check this out. I have done what I'm supposed to do. I stood by my wife when she decided to go public with her truth. It was not an easy decision. I was, for a while I was thinking, ah, Timmy, this thing is your wife, or this is your wife with kids, and it probably never be the same again. I was, I was in my house peacefully, I was watching the golf, and all of a sudden I just, my wife was, somebody was pressing the bell like, ah, non-stop, like non-stop. And when she, Entered the compound. I just saw that two people followed her into the compound. There's a the bus that just blocked her gate and all that. And it was in panic that I, uh, the first thing that came to my mind, let me just record this thing and say, because I don't know who they were. They were not on uniforms. They were not people that I normally, when, when the police is coming, they, they probably come with a police van, not tinted and all that. So I was, 
I was asked, let me just put it online so people will know that this kind of thing is happening. If they're coming to carry us or something like that. It was out of fear that I put that out. Why were they delivering on the letter on Saturday, plus a bus full of armed men and a car trailing with my wife and we take my wife into the estate? Why did they not deliver the letter and leave when they when they, neither myself nor my wife was present? Why did they have to step into the house and tell my wife to come? They are being investigated for a case of falsehood and mischief. Two offenses that are not known like offense, like a crime in Nigeria. In the police press release yesterday, they claim, they claim a police invitation letter, a polite investigative tool used in eliciting information voluntary from parties in, aid, in, in, in aiding the police investigation. If they were just delivering a letter, the manner in which they intentionally tried to instill fear, intimidate us with guns and insist on us coming to their boss was neither polite nor trustworthy. Hmm. This is serious. It is serious. And uh, I'm just going to come from the angle where I'm, I feel like the Nigerian police, I don't know, you guys, you can do better than this. Because um, from what I, I've read up and um, I know, um, Busola and Timmy reported this case to the police in Ikoye or something. They, mm -hmm. they filed a petition mm -hmm. um, a day before the interview dropped, mm -hmm. actually. So till now, he says they haven't questioned, they haven't summoned the pastor for questioning. Mm. But then he goes ahead to report a case to you guys, filing another petition against mm. these people to you. And you, the way, the best way you can deliver it is to come to their house with a with boss, a boss uh, tinted boss. First mm. of all, I, I don't know, I feel like, um, should I dig in? Yes, I will dig in. Kemi Olunoyo revealing their address online. Wasn't it's a just, great idea. yeah, it yeah, wasn't a was, good idea because he good. said it that he said it right there at the press conference because I actually watched the entire video and he said he said um, that ever since she released their address and put it out online, different people with tinted vehicles have been trailing them to their home. Like mm. this is not safe. There's, mm. This this issue is very I sensitive. I agree with you actually and because <sighs> it's something that's personal information that you should have shared with the public. And then again, it's not wrong for the question the police to want to question you, but the manner of approach is what is very strange. Like, why would you go to their house with armed policemen? Are they criminals? Are you trying to arrest them? Now, if you're saying this is a letter of, uh, of invitation and you're saying this is not uh, a warrant to arrest, then you should have had two different ways of approaching it. That's the way I see it. Because the case, from mm. what I know, the case is already, um, Timmy already handed over the case to his lawyers and everything is going to be happening in Lagos. So why are you summoning them to Abuja to be questioned with your van, mm. with armed policemen? Uh, it's, I, I don't know, it's just sketchy. Like, Nigerian police, what I can just say is, you guys can do better than this. You can do better than Because then he mentioned the, the, um, the crime that mm. they were being summoned for. And I, I checked. There's no crime as mischief or whatever, whatever it is mm. that they were saying. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to pick my words yeah, and, you know, but mm. it, it just doesn't make sense. But what I, could, I can't say for sure is that I'm very happy with the way Timmy Dakolo has and come out to the public, he's not afraid, he's very courageous. He's saying, yeah. I'm here to defend my wife, I'm here to defend my children, and this is what is going on. He's very outspoken about yes. it, and he has been very supportive. So I can say kudos to him for yeah, that. Yeah, he's an amazing man. Yeah. Shout out to social media, because he put up um, the picture on social media, and before you could tell, people were yeah. rallying around, yes, got, already. got mm. the Lagos police involved, Both. and of course, other people. We'll just keep our fingers crossed Both. to see the outcome of this old drama. Finally, yeah. on the foreign scene, ASAP Rocky his detention extended by Swedish courts. Yes, American rapper ASAP Rocky's detention over an alleged assault has been extended for at least another week by Swedish courts pending the outcome of the investigation by prosecutors. According to reports, this decision was taken because of flight risk associated with the rapper. The rapper's lawyer, Slobodan Jovovich, has however called the court's decision disappointing, saying it was unreasonable to assume ASAP Rocky was a flight risk since not returning for a potential trial would mean that the rapper would never be able to visit Europe again and also for fear of getting arrested. In a rather shocking twist, United States President Donald Trump has just revealed that he has been negotiating with Sweden to secure the release of the New York rapper. He shared a statement via his Twitter page saying, and I quote, just had a very good call with at Swedish PM Stefan Loven, who assured me that American citizen ASAP Rocky will be treated f fairly. Likewise, I assured him that ASAP was not a flight risk 
risk and offer to personally vouch for his bail or an alternative. Wow. So this all oh, is a <laughs> rocky situation now. It's getting political. Mm. I remember watching that clip again and it just started from Guys, fans um, like move, move fans away. people are following yeah, me. stay on your own. Mm. Like, it led to fights and now it's jail. locked up. I felt no, like I, the I other guys it, were trying I, to harass yeah. him. Yeah. And I, not to say that I support violence, but what he did, he did out of defense. Like, yeah, he was trying yeah. to defend himself. That is because even what he said. That, that video mm. was really long. And mm. if, the, if the video was, yeah. like, for he example, did, he did 15 minutes. At first. Yes. That is even 40 what his minutes was him said. saying, guy, yeah. move back. Stay it's back. Chilled. Stay back. And then eventually, when he saw that the thing was getting out of hand, he started to do another video saying, um, guys, there's someone coming after us. These guys are following us. They've been following us. So between our time, you don't know what it has happened. Yeah. And then the next thing we saw was ASAP, you know, dragging, dragging the, the guy. On the ground. You know, when this thing first happened, I remember saying that it was right of them to say, let's take it this to the police and let's solve this legally. Yeah, situation but changed. now it's looking like the situation is moving more yeah. into favoring, racism favoring. or yeah. something like that because. Now you're saying that you don't want to grant him bail because he's at flight I risk. But Why would he, as a very important rapper, not want to be allowed into Europe again? It doesn't make like any sense. That's what the lawyer now, is saying. Now, for the United States president Donald Trump to come out and say, you know what, I'm vouching for his bail, it has come to, it has come to mind, or it has come to the forefront, that obviously this is more than a rapper and, and a couple of people on the street. It's more of a, a political situation that mm -hmm. is going on here. And that's, and that's Donald Trump campaigning, by the way. Mm, yeah, yeah that's, I that's think so. Trump campaign. That was a, I was going to say, but before you go say, <laughs> Harry Kerr is this thing. It's another angle. Well, I mean, Donald Trump in the news for some good stuff. I mean, for a change, I like it. He should, okay. keep, he should keep it up. No, he has gotten to you. <laughs> a good PR move because you've gotten Amanda. That's All right, guys. <laughs> that's about it on the entertainment news. Now, moving on to our celebrity's birthday. Now, today on celebrity's birthday, we have American singer and actress Selena Gomez. Yeah. And we also have Happy American birthday. film and television actress Jazz Sinclair. And not forgetting our very own superstar, Fala Dele Falano Ngadi! <laughs> Happy birthday! So, so now, let's sing, sing for her. Happy birthday to you. No, let's not sing that no one. Sing. Let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Fala Dele, we love you from the bottom <laughs> of our heart. Oh, <laughs> Check out a clip, though. Probably later. Probably, Probably later. later. <laughs> All right. Yes, we have a mini surprise for you, Faladele. So if you're yes. watching, yeah, you gotta see it. <laughs>